Hello everyone, I am Roma. In today's video, we'll see if the Sony ZV-E10 overheats, then I'll share a couple of tips for avoiding overheating. Indoors, I tested it in room temperature without using an air conditioner, in an outdoor setting, both in the shade and directly in the sun. In terms of climate, I live in Thailand, which is a very hot country. I wasn't swapping batteries for this test because I only had one. I charged it to 100% and then let it drain on its own and folded the screen to help cool down the camera. In the menu, I changed the power setting to high temperature, video quality to 4K at 100 megabits per second, and steady shot to off. Let's start with the indoor results. While shooting indoors in room temperature without an air conditioner, the ZV-E10 did not overheat. It recorded for one hour, 31 minutes before automatically shutting down. So if you're going to use this camera in room temperature studio, I don't think you should be concerned about overheating. When I shot outside on a cloudy day with no direct sunlight, I got the same results. The ZV-E10 recorded for approximately 1 hour 30 minutes before automatically shutting down. However, when I placed the ZV-E10 directly under the sun, it overheated. It recorded for about 25 minutes before shutting down automatically. When I turned on the camera, I noticed the high temperature overheating warning on the screen. So unless you put the ZV-E10 directly under the sun, you're pretty much safe from overheating at least according to these tests. Now I would like to share with you a couple of tips for avoiding overheating on the ZV-10. The first tip is to set the power setting option in the menu to high. This will ensure that the camera is a bit less sensitive to overheating. As far as I know, it is totally safe to just leave it at high all the time. The next step is to unfold the battery door and unfold the screen. This essentially creates better ventilation to cool down the camera. However, leave the battery door open when it is extremely hot. It is not required to do all the time. Finally, try to avoid shooting directly in the sun. If possible, place the camera in the shade or invest in a sun hood to keep it cool. Hope you find this video to be informative and useful. Otherwise, click the dislike button down below twice and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.